This is an example of a referencing exercise. You'll notice we've got some longer legs that have a blanked out area in them. The goal for the orienteer is to stay within those blanked out areas to go as straight as possible. So this exercise is quite good on sand dune forest where you have reasonable visibility by going straight is the best way. The goal for the orienteer is to look left and look right and use their compass to pull them straight but they can't use the features directly in line with the control to pull them straight. They have to push off from the features on the left and the right of the leg. Looking at 10 to 11, if you're at this stage in the leg, you should start to notice that you've got a small ridge on the left, you've got a slope moving up on the right. As you move fur <coughs> further on the leg, there's a hill on the left, a smaller hill on the left. As you move further along, there's this flat area and there's a slope going to the road and coming into the control, there's a hill on the right. You can look quite far to the side. So if you're crossing a road, you need to look all the way down here and compare your position on the road to that very distinctive junction. Also look far to the right. Can you see this junction with the gate and the fences? Maybe not, but it's worth looking. Here you've got a clearing with a fence corner. The edge of the forest should be quite visible here. When you're at this stage in the leg, look far to the right and see how far you can um, see through the forest. Throughout this last stage of 11 to 12, there are lots of control features to use off to the side. There's no need to use the things that you're just touching and running over. You've got depression here. This big flat area is a very specific shape. You've got this hill with these small hills on top. If you know what they look like in advance, you should be able to spot them. You've got a depression off to the left. You've got this hill here on top of a wider hill. Keep track of all these features as you move. You're going to have to turn your head really far to the right and really far to the left to see these guys, but the visibility is good enough. And if you have good direction, you should, be, should actually be able to stay right in the center of the leg without actually knowing the features that you're running over and beside.